Hey guys, Freddy with Poor Man Mods here. I've got a quick tour review for you guys today. V Diag Tools sent me out their VD70 scan tool. I've had a little bit of time to play with this thing and I'm actually really impressed with its capability. It's of course powerful enough to do check engine light codes. That's not impressive anymore these days, but of course it can also do airbag codes, transmission codes, and ABS codes. But what makes this thing really special and powerful is its ability to data log all of the vehicle sensors and give you a nice visible graph and interface that can really help with troubleshooting. It's also powerful enough to access the body control module and any device that's connected to the body control module, you can command with this tool. I'm not gonna go over check engine light codes today because that's super easy and basic, but I wanna go over what I think is really impressive about this tool and that's the data logging and reporting. And this can save you thousands of dollars in repair bills. Or if you're a mechanic on the side or even a professional mechanic, this thing can make you a ton of money. There's a lot of powerful features in this tool, but I wanna go over my favorite thing and that's the data logging. So let's get into it. It is Android based and there is a camera. So if you wanna take a picture of the issue that you're having, something in the engine bay, there is a camera here that you can turn on. And if you are connected to the internet, you can use Google Chrome to maybe research the problem that you're having. But we're gonna to go to the VDiag tool app here. It does have this auto scan feature, uh, maybe because it's an older vehicle, but this 2003 Forerunner, when I do the auto scan, it's not able to find my vehicle. So I have to go into manual diagnosis here. Go into Asia, and we'll go down to Toyota. We are in North America. Manual selection here. There's three types of data reports that you can export on here. The first type of data that you can export is this report here. So this scanned for codes and it went through all of the modules of the vehicle. And as you can see, I do have some airbag codes here and it is able to read airbag codes. Um, so what you can do here, if you wanna save this, whether it's for yourself or maybe a customer, if you wanna save this information and pass it along, you can do report here shows you your current codes and that everything else is good. You can save this, put some information here, and then you can either just save this to the device or you can export it to a printer or your customer or whatever. Here's where it gets really, really cool and handy. So a lot of times you can get a ABS wheel code for just an ABS wheel speed sensor, but a lot of times the car doesn't know which one is the problem. It'll just say, oh, you have an ABS code. But we can go in here, but we can monitor all four wheel speed sensors and graph it. So check this out. We'll go to live data here. And here are all of the sensors in the ABS and traction control system that you're able to log. All kinds of switches, relays, and sensors. We're gonna go down here, speed of front right wheel, front left wheel, rear right, and rear left. And now if you wanna graph these, say you wanna go for a drive and data log this, you select those four. If you hit this custom button here, it'll show you the values, so we're not moving, so the value is zero, zero, and zero. If you wanna see a graph of each individual one, you can hit this down arrow here. And as you can see, it's monitoring right now, the status bar here. If you wanna see a different type of view, so this is a graph, you can hit this button here and it'll make it more of like a gauge, but since we're not moving, there's no data here. Here's where it gets really cool. If you don't wanna look at this type of menu, if you wanna look at all four on the same window for a nice easy view, hit graph. Now look at that. You're able to see each corner of the vehicle and if we were driving, it would be showing the values here and you could go for a drive and you can hit record. And now it's actually recording all this data. So obviously it wouldn't be safe for you to watch this screen while you drive. So you would take this out for a drive Hit record, and then when you're done, hit record again, and it will save all of that data. This is super, super powerful, but there's another thing I wanna show you. So we'll get back to this menu here, system selection, and we're gonna go to engine. We're gonna go to live data again. Now we're gonna select coolant temperature here, and we'll select Intake temperature here. We'll do throttle position. Not sure why it's at 19%. And for shiggles, we'll do math, all right? And we'll hit custom here. And just like before, 
you can look at these values here. You can look at them in this sort of view. You can hit graph and look at them that way. And when you hit that graph button and record, it exports that data in a different type of format than this version I'm about to show you. If you hit this combine button right here, it puts all of those data points on the same graph and overlays everything, which is a totally different layout. And you can hit record here. And as you can see, it's you know recording all the data here. Intake air, throttle position, math, and coolant. So now it can record and record and record. We'll hit stop and now it saved it. And let me show you how you can view all three of those data logs. Go to report here. And the first one that I showed you is this report button here. And you can pull this report back up. It saves it for you. And like I said, you can either share it by email or print it if you're connected to the internet. Now for the second data log that I showed you, you're gonna go to data view here. Four different graphs that I showed you, I didn't record since it was just boring and the lines weren't doing anything. But if you were to record when you had those four graphs on the screen, that would be in this section here, the data view, and check it out. It shows you a whole exploded view of that graph. So it's not showing you playing, it's not showing it play out like a movie. It just shows all of the data, but you can select the data points and it tells you the value. How cool is that? You can drag it and it tells you here on the screen and also over here what that data is. How freaking cool is that? This is super powerful stuff, guys. So then the last one that I showed you where I combined all of them into one graph, that is the data playback. So that shows you more like a movie. You can't interact with it, but it plays it back for you. Watch this. So select which ones you wanna watch. If you only wanted to watch one of the data points you can, or only two of the four, or all of them, whichever you want. So then select them all, hit custom here, combine, and now it's replaying your data log. So you can pause it. You can go forward a frame or back a frame and resume and pause it again. How freaking cool is that? You can't interact it like you can with the other one. You can't select the data points, but it replays it for you. How freaking cool is that? So three different really powerful types of data logging here. You have your generic report, your movie playback, which that's when you combine all of them, and then your data view, which you can actually interact with, which I love this. This is so freaking cool. Even if you're just a DYIer or you know a weekend warrior, but this is even good if you're a full-time professional mechanic. This can save you a ton of money or even make you a ton of money. This is super freaking cool, guys. For the price, you really can't beat it. It's not network-based. Everything is stored right here, so you do not need the internet or a smartphone to use it. Everything is contained right here. But if you want to connect it to the internet, you can. This can really save you so much in repair bills and diagnostic time. Seriously, it can be an absolute lifesaver. So I'll have a link to it in the description down below if you want, or you can check out my Amazon storefront. It'll be in the tools section there. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope maybe you learned something. And yeah, happy scanning.